Hi and welcome to City Happenings. I'm Mayor David Black. The 72nd annual Papillion Days is history. Great weather, great crowds, great event. We get some initial thoughts from the Papillion Community Foundation's Executive Director who did a fantastic job. There are some changes at City Hall. We welcome our new City Attorney and you'll get to meet him. A global audiovisual technology company opens an office in Papillion. We'll take you to the ribbon cutting. These stories are next in City Happenings for the week of June 24th. Thanks, Mayor Black. Another Papillion Days is in the books. The first thought was about the weather. We had perfect weather from start to finish, so uh, I think that really helped with the crowd. We had a huge crowd all the way around every single day. Laura says decent temperatures kept people in a good mood. The weather wasn't blazing hot, so people were super patient and happy <laughs> and um, the parade went off great. We got 104 entries down the street in an hour and 20 minutes. Um, the live stream was a success for, for the parade. Um, the beer fest was a, a huge success. A new attraction was the market in the park. This was our first year kind of rebranding some of the things that we did for Papillion Days, so Market in the Park. Uh, we had some really neat signage up and, and people just really, all the comments that I heard were, were really, really positive. I mean, we have, obviously you can't please everybody. We, we certainly try really hard, but um, we can't, you know, that's just impossible. Um, but most of the comments that we got were very positive. There is always a learning curve. Some things we learned better. You know, that we can do better for next year. Um, there are things that we learned about, you know, how we set certain things up and how we can kind of make those better. But sometimes you don't learn how to make things better until you do them. So I, I really feel very positive. Um, we didn't have any issues, that, you know, in the park with, um, the po you know, the police said it was a really calm year. Everybody was in a good, good mood. So I, I know that the temperatures definitely helped with that and the fact that we didn't have any rain or storms, thank goodness. So, um, you know, I just felt like overall it went really, really well. Laura agrees that there was a special feel to this year's event. I don't know if it's maybe because we, we kind of renamed some things and we just kind of tried to give a fresh look to some things and um, we just, I felt like we were, this was my second Papillion Days. So for me, I felt like I was more organized. I had a huge um, pool of volunteers this year that from friends, family, um, to board members and our advisory board and their friends and family. Um, I just felt like we had people in the right places and I think that helped. Um, but there was a buzz this year because there were some things that were different. We did the beer fest differently. Um, we did the market in the park differently. We'll hear more in the coming weeks. City Hall welcomes a new attorney. I'd like to thank Mayor Black for nominating me for this position. I'm very excited about it. I'd also like to express my appreciation to the council members that I was able to, to meet a couple of weeks ago I, and also to the, the staff members that I've been able to meet so far. Um, it sounds like a, a, a great group of people that I'm looking forward to meeting, meeting further and, and working with. Um, I'm eager to start doing good things for the city of Papillion. Uh, I think I can really hit the road running and do a lot of good things for you right at the, right at the outset. Graduate of Creighton Law School, uh, after, right after law school I worked for a few years in a private law firm. Um, then I was, I was a political science major so one of my uh, I guess underlying goals in life was to work for the government. So uh, one of the happiest days of my life was when I got to work for the city of Omaha. I worked for, ended up working for the city of Omaha for almost 29 years. Uh, starting off my career mostly as a trial lawyer. Um, during all of my 29 years, I worked um, with the planning department, um, maybe over the last 15 or 20 years as the principal advisor for the planning department. And over the last 10 years or so, I've worked as the principal legal advisor for the public works department and gotten to know uh, council member Stubbe uh, very well in his other uh, capacity. Um, I've enjoyed it. I could continue working there, but when this opportunity came up, uh, I just thought I would like to try and do something different, uh, work with a, a new group of people, taking on some new challenges, and so I'm very excited about it. Congratulations. Thank you. Grab your signature. 
a global company specializing in audiovisual design, consulting, AV integration, and video conferencing managed services opens an office in Papillion. We've really come to appreciate why we are a small town next to Omaha. We got a rich history, rich traditions. It's still a community of its own, and we've had a lot of serious corporations and industries through Papillion, and we really value those relationships. Uh, knowing you're a global company, again, we're playing a role in connecting. Um, so we just really want to thank you for choosing Papillion. Um, you are in the Omaha metro area, but your home is Papillion. And uh, we're excited to see that you hired Doug, somebody from Sarpy County that understands uh, the nuances of the communities. And so we appreciate that relationship and we really just want to welcome you to Papillion. This is our 46th office. Uh, and uh, while it's day one uh, for our grand opening here, it is actually our 40th anniversary this year as well as a company. So uh, I say that because we are a long-standing company with long-standing relationships, and we look to bring that to this region as well. We are looking to take this relationship much deeper and broader uh, to the community. AVISPL is the, the world's largest uh, digital workplace services provider, and, uh, and we want to serve customers throughout the entire region. We want to help them with their unified communications. We want them to be able to attract better talent. We want them to be able to improve their culture and really spark their success. And we want to do that for a long time here. We'd like to thank everyone who helped make Papillion Day successful once again. Thanks to city staff, volunteers, vendors, attendees, and everyone who supported our annual event. And summer has just begun and there's plenty to do in our great city. There are lots of ways to stay up to date with what's happening in Papillion. You can find us on Facebook, follow the City of Papillion on Twitter and Instagram, or watch our YouTube channel. Information about all of our departments and programs is available on our website. For more about Papillion, go to www.papillion.org. Or just call the Mayor's Hotline at 402-827-1111. Thanks for watching.